In this session, we are going to drive our browser using Web Driver Manager and by downloading the browser drivers. I will show you both ways. The purpose of a browser driver is to set up our browser for automation. Personally, I believe Web Driver Manager is the best way for managing our browser drivers. It's the best way because it automatically takes care of the drivers without needing an update. To install Web Driver Manager, we go to the terminal, then type pip install web driver hyphen manager. That's it. Now we can automate our application. Right click Selenium Tutorials, New Python File. The file name will be browser underscore driver. Now let's start with our test script from Selenium. We import web driver. Next is from web driver manager dot chrome we import chrome driver manager the test script starts with driver equals web driver dot chrome with a capital c inside the parenthesis we pass in chrome driver manager dot install this statement installs Web Driver Manager so we can drive our automation on the Chrome browser. Load a web page by writing driver.git. And we're going to pass in a URL such as https colon two forward slashes www.google.com. Now let's run. The web page loaded without a problem. Notice the console shows my current browser version 94 and then it says get latest driver version. Click the internal line and it shows the location of the Chrome driver.exe file. Here's the location in Windows Explorer. We see the drivers folder Chrome driver, Win32, and my browser version 94. When I click version 94, we see the Chrome driver.exe file. Chrome driver.exe is a standalone server and a required separate executable that Web Driver uses to control the Chrome. We have executables for all major browsers such as Firefox, Edge, Opera, IE, and Safari. That's important because it goes back to what I said in the introduction. Web Driver Manager automatically takes care of the drivers. This shows the Chrome driver.exe file was automatically downloaded. The original way requires us to manually download the driver, then add the executable to our test script. Let me show you by commenting the the install step and then I'm going to write driver dot get I'm on my head. driver equals web driver dot chrome now let's run the console shows executable needs to be in path that means we must download the Chrome driver.exe file, then add the path to, add the file to a path. Let's walk through the process by going to selenium.dev forward slash ecosystem. That's the website. We see the browser drivers for each major browser. Go to releases and change log for Chrome driver. We see the current releases and the previous releases. Each release supports a particular Chrome browser version. 
If you want to add Chrome driver this way, then first we find the browser version by going to the three dots, then help about Google Chrome and we see version 94. Now, uh oh, we go back to the Chrome driver to download and I'm going to download the version for 94. For my particular operating system, I have Windows, so I will download Chrome driver underscore win32.zip to download the file. Next is to unzip the file when I open it when it's done. And really, I don't have to unzip it because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going back to a PyCharm and I'm going to create a directory. So I'm going to right click Selenium using Python, new directory, and the name is drivers. And I will drag the Chrome driver.exe file to the drivers folder. And it's probably, uh, let me start over. Let me make this a little bigger. And I'm going to drag Chrome driver.exe to the drivers folder. And I'm going to refactor by saying yes. And now under drivers directory, we have Chrome driver.exe. Now, the next step is to add an executable inside the parentheses. And I'm going to write executable path equals quotations. And I'm going to write forward slash drivers, forward slash Chrome driver.exe. That's the name of the file and the directory drivers and Chrome driver.exe. And that's all we need. Now let's run. And the page loaded without a problem. Those are the two ways to drive our browser for Selenium automation. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session.